what is going on welcome to the channel all right special video for you guys here today i'm here with my colleague john what up J jg and uh he just got a free month of fsd on his model y performance this has hardware 4 on it so we're gonna go ahead and take it for a little spin here and see look at this high fidelity park assist wow you can get that in full screen now and we're gonna test this out here from the park position so mind you John did not pay for FSD and he actually took my advice used my referral code and purchased his Model Y performance which is epic he got a 2024 Model Y Performance. This is with hardware 4. It's, it is super fast. And now he gets a free month of FSD. So he really gets to see the full performance of the car. And this is my first time seeing vision only. No sensors on the car whatsoever. And uh, yeah, so what do you think? Well, actually when I used your referral, they gave me three months. Of right the fsd but it was the old 11.4 version right and it worked well but it had a lot of idiosyncrasies let's call it right um it didn't recognize things like this there's no stop sign here right and it used and to just it, blow it used past. to confuse it and it said well it's an intersection but i don't see a reason to stop so Look how smooth. now it recognizes any multiple way uh road Intersection. Intersection as a we need to, to take a look, you know, and it creeps real good like this We used to you and I did this and turn left. It used to have a difficult time up here turning left I've done it met multiple times and it does it as good if not better than I would be driving right, you know Wow, that's amazing. So this we're going just a short little drive again the stop signs as you know It, it does prevail on the cautious side. So it stops way before the white line Yes, it's being cautious, but here it sees the car coming. I wouldn't have done see any that different. blue line that it shows now. That's new. That's like the furthest it would go, go up. Correct. It kind of has that little block to now work. Now we've with. done this once before. This is the address that I put in. Now there is an entrance right here. Yeah. But it's taking it to the GPS, you know, address. And address that is programmed in. So yes, you and I would have turned there, but again, it's now this turn lane. Now another thing that it does a lot better is where you could turn off the minimal lane change and stuff and that's, uh -huh. there's a reason to have it on or off. But it, it's much better because you hear me complaining all the time where, it, yep. How it picks them up. So the, the enhancements that it is becoming more human-like driving mm -hmm. is epic yes it's like it's going into the passing lane when it's supposed to it's 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 getting into like the right lane when it when a turn is coming up accelerating to get a, to get in front of someone yes slow down it it's so human like let's see what it does here it's Com probably gonna go around again it. You made a comment on one of your other posts that Teslas don't really know what to do at a gas station. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, they're like, we're at a gas station. What am I doing here? That's hilarious. Yeah. We're, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, so this parking lot, obviously, this is the up. address. Now, go ahead and put in that, back, back to the to the office. Yeah. Let's see what it does from here now. It should just go ahead and proceed. Let's see if I can even pick the inside route just like that. Nice. So I'm gonna nudge this so it, it turned a signal on. But you're at a point now where you feel like you can use this instead of driving because it's almost gonna do exactly what you were gonna do. The difference between 12 dot whatever and 11 dot four is human like. Is human like. It's not even. <clears throat> if you remember, I wasn't the biggest fan of 11 dot four. Right. Um, it worked, but right. it just wasn't human-like. It required too much patience. Too much patience and too much intervention. Right, right, this exactly. This is about as autonomous as anything out there mm -hmm. that, that, I mean, coming to this stop sign, you and I did one a week or so ago, yeah. and a car was coming, and it yielded, and see- It saw him around the corner. But yes, this, the, the, the wide angle lens Mm -hmm. uh, of the the front camera is so much i don't know better or just it looks for more things 
it, it's remarkable the technology that they put in here now my car is the first time doing the speed bump now yours it missed it, it missed yes the first speed bump and then it caught it after that so here's the speed bump it looks bump like it's gonna up. catch this one it's, it doesn't it, no, no it not, missed it this missed, one it again. missed the first speed bump uh, interesting so that's something that it needs to hopefully improve on but you know what one, one thing is cool about john is he has a corvette at home you know and he has see, a now Tesla. picked up the second it did pick up the second but see it's cool that you're willing to kind of like see what the electric car can offer you compared to you know your old ice vehicle like you were telling me you used to spend like 600 bucks a 600 dollars a month in gas and now i spend a hundred dollars a month in electric and that right there is just enough enough reason for so many people to switch over especially with the incentives going on right now i mean if it makes sense for you economically i mean you can get a self-driving car out of it you know right and operation costs are are really low and and the biggest thing that i like to push is the safety this is the safest car if a collision were to occur staying in the lane is another thing it does a lot better on the turns right it used to get over and then you'd see the line kind of fight itself and work its way back yeah it's so much more natural so now. more that's why i say it's so much more human like absolutely and autonomous to the point where where i used to intervene 15 20 percent now is less than maybe two or three percent you didn't even have to take it take no, over no i didn't once. touch it at all here but there's a couple things that still aren't 100 percent perfect but it's it's about as close as you can get so one thing now i am super interested in seeing this will be my first time is this auto part is it included with this update that i don't so know this is 12.3.3 right so I was told that it should be included. We're gonna find out now. Now I know some of these spots don't come up with it, right? Because there's no lines there. So see if you, see if like it picks up anything. Um, let it turn in and then I'm, I'm just curious to see if it's able to pick up anything. Would it automatically park? Cause we're at the destination if it's I'm if wondering it's included, to see now what it's gonna do. Or do you have to tell do? it to park? This is a great question. It says now, uh, uh, autopilot complete. navigation complete here so let's go ahead and take over take over real quick like take yeah See, oh look at this oh, oh my yeah. gosh now go back go back wow so take a look at this this is going to be the first glimpse of auto park here oh my gosh go back okay now stop so now you can select whatever spot oh, you want wow. oh okay. my gosh how awesome is that and then you just pick and it goes? Are you kidding me? I am astonished by that. There's no ultrasonic sensors on this car and look at the way it parked. This is freaking amazing. Oh my gosh. Yes, look that at was, that. I didn't even know it could do that. Wow. And you know, you get that response a lot coming from Tesla owners. And oh my gosh, auto park complete. What and an it put it in park automatically. What? Wow. I, I, I didn't even know that was coming, so I'm even more flabbergasted. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this video. More FSD beta videos on the way. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day.